Welcome to the Spirituality Guidance Channel's podcasts. Our podcasts will feature spiritual teachers who speak on a wide variety of topics, from how to live in your spirituality in the real world to how to deal with those who have no spiritual foundation at all. We are here to serve your spiritual needs each and every day. May God bless you on your spiritual journey and fill your life with health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance everlasting. Something else that I've learned personally, there's a lot of things, and if I talk, I'm not talking, I don't want to talk to you like I know everything, or this is what you should do, or anything like that. But I'd like to share a little about what I've seen, what I've come to understand personally, uh, through this and that method. Sometimes it's method. Most of the time it's seeking. A lot of times uh, I've learned things just by asking the Spirit to show me. And uh, intimacy with Spirit is something that uh, I had to cultivate. It's very difficult in the beginning. Um, Spirit it's really not connected with your emotions that much. I mean, it, it can be as you develop a relationship with it, there's some emotions that kind of, I, I've discovered there's some emotions that kind of go along with that. Um, but the, the most important uh, element in spiritual walking for, for me, and uh, the most difficult thing to learn, was number one, you have to love it. You have to love a desire to walk in spirit. And to, to, to do so, it's almost like, for me, it was almost like I had to give up things. There's things that I loved that was incongruent with walking in the spirit. Um, our life in this world um, what we want out of life in this world, all the stuff that we're gathering around us. I think all of us are a little bit like the Buddha who goes out and leaves everything behind for the purpose of going in and discovering this life that's already in us. It's eternal. And we're all that way because all of us are really called to all of us are called of God to, be, to, to discover this unity, this oneness with Him. And uh, God dwells in me, I dwell in God. That is an absolute truth. God isn't far off. I'm not going someday to be close to God. I'm not going to a someday heaven. Heaven is not far off. Heaven exists because you live there. And you live there in spirit. And you go there. You live there because you're willing to forsake temporal things if you have to to get there. You're willing to forsake everything if you have to forsake everything to get there. You have to love spirit more than anything else. You have to love spirit. And this spirit you discover it's not just full of God, it is God. And it is you at the same time. That's what's amazing to me in this discovery. Now, I've discovered that. I know that's the truth. Have I fully united with this knowledge? Have I fully fallen in love with Spirit? That's the other question. Ah, and we'll deal with that maybe in the future. The rest of this in the future. Taping, thank you. Who are you serving when you play it small? I feel like Travis Tree. Bulletproof. Shed peach.